What's up YouTube and welcome back to Kangbros TV and this is the reaction video of Kovalev versus Canelo. Another correct prediction for the Kangbros. We said that Canelo was going to win. We both I think went for points. Would you, was there, mine was points but yours yeah, was what? I, 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 I didn't think he was going to knock him out. Yeah, so what I'm just going to say is the people that predicted that it was going to be a KO, I want to give these mans a shout out because there was three of them. So if one was Jazz Sengil, Hardeep SF and Sonny Gill. You man smashed up the prediction. Jazz actually went full on KO. He said that there was just going to be KO and nothing else. The other two said that, okay, might go to points as well. But them three with the predictions, well done. Because I did not see that how on earth Canelo, the smaller man, was going to not just knock Kovalev out, bruv. But put him to sleep, bruv. Bruv, discombobulated him, bruv. And, just, just, and like people like Anthony Yard could not do that. So, let's look into that a little bit deeper, bro. How is this happening? Well, let's... <laughs> Am I missing something? He's your guy. He's your guy. He's my well, guy. And listen, what I will say is this, yeah, is that even, even throughout the whole fight, even watching the fight unfold, I still didn't see it coming. I did not see it coming. It, it, it just felt like it just, it just happened from... It was one shot, all of a sudden, his arm dropped, and this is where you got to, get, you got to give it to Canelo, because just purely for, for... You know, just the way he, he, just, he just, finished, just finished the fight off. You know, and, and fair play, listen, I, you say what you want, as far as, as far as we know, everything's above board and he's gone in there and he's taken out a light heavyweight, yeah? He's taken out one of the, he's taken out one of the, the bigger names in the light heavyweight division, mm -hmm. yeah? So props where props are due, there's no two ways about it. Listen, the guy is going to go down as, as, as an all-time great. There's, you know, you name it, anyone who puts in front of him, he, he puts, you'll find a way to take him out apart from the greatest ever, TB, you know, TBE, apart from, apart from Money Mayweather. But I'm just looking at it now, I'm thinking, what next? No, before we go into the what next here, like we can finish on the what next, but what I'm saying is this. Now, how... So he, he, how has he done this, right? So how has he gone on and knocked this mate out? That's what I want to know, first of all. And then second of all, how, who did you have on the cards? Because be going into the last... Going into the 11th round, I had probably Kovalev up by one. I, I, it was nip and tuck. I think it was nip and tuck, but I did have Kovalev, I had Kovalev edging it. And in my mind, I thought, right, here we go now, because mm. Canelo's going to have to do something here to, to, to take his belts. Yeah. So I thought, I, I, you've gone to light heavy to take his belt. And I thought, I don't see, if I'm looking at this fight now, the way, the way from, from the first bell, Kovalev was just pushing him back, just touching, 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 keeping my arm's length. And I think, even though, I think he felt, obviously, Kovalev's known for that, that, that jab, that trademark jab, right? So in my head, I'm thinking, Watching the fight how it unfold, I'm thinking Kovalev, Kovalev's throwing the jab out, keeping him, just touching, touching, keeping him at distance, doing some nice work. And I thought to myself, it looks as though Canelo's gone up to that weight and thought, you know what? Whew, these jabs, they, they come up a bit. Do you know what I mean? I, I, that's what it felt like because he didn't want to get too, he didn't get too, didn't get too close. He was trying to counter. And I thought to myself, fair, fair. I was like, you know, he's, he's, he's giving the respect where it's due because he's at light heavyweight. And then I thought, then it looked like, even as I said, the fight was going on, going on, going on. I thought, if it carries on in this, in this fashion, I think Kovalev wins this fight. Because I, I don't think Canelo's done enough to, to go and take his belts from him. But then just to see the flipping lights out, Canelo's going to knock your lights out. Oh my God. What I want to give massive praise to for Canelo is the patience he showed. Like this was... A performance for Canelo that I haven't seen before. Like it wasn't like he wasn't licking off all his combinations. He wasn't dominating. I was like, is he just? Is he really just going to take this dominate this fight into the second half of the of the fight? And the sixth round happened. He showed a little glimpses of think, oh yeah, he's going to turn up now. And then he went back again, seventh, eighth, and just like you said there, it's like it's almost like he tried to, but then he saw okay, not just yet. Or the punches. And that respect. He, yeah, you know, I'm feeling it when he hits me. I do feel it. Mm. And maybe it's different. This is different to what I've been in with before. Yeah. So maybe that was the case when he thought to himself, or he thought to himself, I'm mean, giving this guy too much respect here because he's hitting me with stuff and it's not, it's just two, it's two sorts of thoughts. I mean, obviously I don't know, but it could have got to the, to that, to, to, to the knockout round and he's probably thought to himself, do you know what? He, he ain't rocked me. I can feel it, but he ain't rocked me. Mm. I think I can take this guy's shots. And then he's just thought, you know what? Well, I don't know, because the opportunity, it just looked like it came from nothing. Well, I think it hit the temple, right? So when, you, when it hits in your temple, you know people's legs go, yeah, all, all, kind, dance, all, yeah. all kinds of stuff can happen. So I think it hit in the temple, but then after that, his precision and accuracy yeah. after that was just mad. And the, but the one thing I have to question is this though, right? Kovalev is the heavier guy. He's the light heavyweight. Not once in that, in that whole fight did I see him really dominate him with his weight. Or actually say, okay, you know, the earlier rounds, mm. 
Kovalev knows he's not going to win this fight later on in this fight. He knows that. So why was he not? Why was he not dominant and laying it on Canelo in the earlier rounds for me? Was it was it like he was quite nervous and like he knew that uh, Canelo could take him out? I don't know. For me, it was like okay, so you've got what is in this? What is in this like? clause that you've got with this fight, right? You've got the re rehydration clause. What else is in there? What? You can't lick off more than three punch combination. What? You can't press your weight on him. Like, what was... Why was it that he was doing none of those things? But do you not think that that's down to the pure skill level of Canelo? Do you not think he's probably thinking... He probably got in there and thought, he's slick. This guy's... He's decent. His, his movement's good. But, but I almost think he's shown, he's shown Canelo too, too much respect. Too much yeah, respect yeah. early doors. I, and the thing is, that you say, I, I would... Even in the in the uh, the pre video, I said that he was going to try and use that weight and weigh him down, and, and he was actually going the complete opposite. Opposite, and he was just touching him up with the, with the jab and saying, "Right, okay, I'm going to throw my jab out, and I'm going to keep on the end of my jab, and he, I'm not going to let him in, and I'm going to go maybe the reach advantage." But as I said, whatever it was that he, he his game plan was, it obviously unfolded in front of him quickly, <laughs> fast, because from that point on, now I look at it, I think to myself, it's almost taking. He's making Canelo's making a mockery. Of these guys, because he's like, you know what? I doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever weight you are, I believe my boxing IQ and his my skill level is so good that I, I will beat you. Now, like I said, I don't know if it's just purely boxing IQ and skill, or if there's other factors involved. Obviously, I ain't gonna say. I don't know what it could be, but I don't know what it could be. But listen, you know, I don't know. If, like I said, at the moment, all above board, fair play. Gone in there, you've taken out. A Don, a, you know, a Donny in the game, but as I said, I do look at it now. And like I said, Kovalev will probably there's probably more fights there for him. He'll go back into that division, and he'll, and I, I can't see Canelo staying at light heavy. I don't think he's got a career at staying at light heavy for me. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he middleweight, super middleweight is, is where he's going to be. But he has gone into that division and said, you know what? Let me go for the champion. Yep, you'll do, and we'll bust him up. So listen, it's just a shame, really, because he's making a mockery of all these guys in their divisions and their weight classes. Is Canelo now pound for pound the best fighter for you right now? Because I, I want to, I want to like put this pound for pound doesn't mean anything bro, to me. Bro, I'm sorry. I want to put this question to bed because I don't understand why is there a question? Why is there even a question around this? For me, it's bait that number one is Canelo. I don't understand how people are putting Crawford up there. I don't understand how people put Lemachenko up there when he's only had like 15 fights or something like that. So this guy, I don't know how many fights he's had. And he genuinely is pound for pound because he will lose pounds and put on pounds and will take your belt. So I guess four weights, bro. Yeah, but Crawford's grown up, grown, grown up the breaks as well, as well, hasn't he? He's taking. Yeah, but he's yeah, but we said this before about Crawford's CV in comparison. Look, if you look at Canelo's CV, it's yeah. actually mad. It's but, actually but mad. He's, he's also if you think about it, he beat Rocky Fielding. Yeah, no disrespect, but that's the thing. That's I guess that's when he's got that name. Bro, how, how are you gonna pick out? Yeah, no, but listen, Rocky Fielding. When this man's got a ridiculous no, season, you go Rocky no, I'm, I'm just saying the timing of it. You know, when he picks up, like, he's beaten Amir Khan. It was, it was, it worked. Timing wise, it worked. He beat Rocky Fielding. What do you mean timing wise, bro? He was going to beat him regardless. No, of I know time. this, but what I'm saying is, you know, he picked them fights at the right time. You know, like Rocky Fielding, because you've got the zone paper, people can't not fight you. So Rocky, Rocky Fielding has got a belt. He had a belt at the time. I don't know how that happened, but Rocky Fielding had a belt. Canelo thought, whoa, <laughs> whoa, a little whoa. Alert come on there. Like, Hold on. <laughs> I, I can take it. I'll take that one. We'll we'll go to, we'll go to your weight player. Kovalev is uh, is on the way out. You know, the yard fight proved that there was there's chinks in that armor now. So he's you know the timing is everything. But then again, you know Golovkin. I don't know. Listen. So no, but what I'm what I'm saying is, so what does Canelo have to do? For go on, beat some heavyweights up, bro. <laughs> well, a few more jabs. Bring on Usyk you... next. Now that's it. No, but not, not legitly. Yeah. Why, why are people still questioning that? What does he have to do? Like, for me, he's been pound for pound for a long time, even before this. But what I'm trying to say is, what does he have to do? So, first of all, it's like now you're saying that he's like literally cherry picking the opponents. So that's what you're saying now, essentially. And it's not just you just saying that. I've seen a lot of boxing fans say that he's cherry picking them. Now, if I look, if I look back at his CVs, okay, I agree. There's some there I'm thinking, okay, like Kovalev, he's never going to take this fight in his prime. He's never going to take Andre Ward in his prime. I get this. But then he's he's taken on the likes of, of Mayweather, the Golovkins. So why is he not get? I don't understand why he's not getting respect. And then people start talking about the the Mexican meat and all this. So is he never gonna be pound for pound? What what I'm for me like he's I for me he's been the best boxer in my generation of watching like now in our generation he's the best. Mayweather. But no, for me he is. No, he's not. But look, I don't want to get to discussion. Yeah, you didn't I, beat him. I don't want to get to discussion because didn't obviously it comes down to preference. Yeah, for me personally. As entertainment value and what he offers, Canelo has been one of the best boxers for my generation. 
if not the best one. Yeah? It's not better than Mayweather. That's fine. That's your opinion. Not, I'm not disagreeing that's with fact. you. No, that's not fact. But what I'm saying is, he so will he ever be he pound for pound? Sh- it came up short though, didn't it? Will he ever be pound for pound? I don't. I, like I said, I, I've said this to you before. We've done videos on it before. I don't even. I don't. I don't get what pound for pound. No, no. Even... Pound, uh, uh, okay, you might not like pound for pound all that, but will he ever be considered? Well, I don't a, see why not. I don't see why he wouldn't. That's what I'm asking. I don't see why he this, wouldn't. This, this, this is what I ask all the fans because everyone starts making arguments about why he isn't pound for pound. It's quite frustrating for me to see that. What does the guy have to do? So what now? For me, if he beats Billy Joe Saunders, it's done. He's done everything. That's the only one I think. Why has he not fought this guy? Apart from that, he's done it. He's beat everyone. But, but again, even then, like even now, personally, Billy Joe Saunders. So like, now you can say it's a cherry pick. No, it's not. Listen, l- l- hear me out. I- I'm saying that fight should have happened a little while ago when, when he was champion, Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah, that fight should have happened a little while ago. Now it's been how many years since Billy Joe Saunders has had proper fights? So I- I'm a bit disappointed with that. I think Harry's. Hopefully, Eddie Hearn can reignite that. But like you said, I, mate, I-, I can't disagree with you in the sense that you know this whole pound for pound label that everyone bangs on about. For me, like I said, I've said it to you so many times before, it doesn't do anything for me. Listen, just unify your divisions and do your journey. Mm-hmm. I, I, the way that this whole pound for pound title is given, for me, I'm not the biggest fan of it. But I can't see what else he has to do. He's, everyone that's been put in front of him, bar the best ever, the greatest ever, TBE, he's, he's found a way to win. Yeah? So you can't, you can't knock him. You know, whatever he's been put in front of him, he's found a way more times than he hasn't. Right. So I, got, I, got, I can't see why not. So I, I get your point. But at the same time, what next? That's what the, the question I'll ask for you now. What next for him? Bruv, keep going up those weights, bruv. <laughs> Usyk, bring him on, come down to Cruiser, we'll take Usyk on. Get him a catch weight. <laughs> Parker, you know, he's like, that, he's like that smaller heavyweight. Mate, Parker would kill him. Of course he would, man. I'm just joking. Well, what, what I'm just saying, I, I think now, Kovalev probably will get a couple more fights. Now it's just to maximise your P. I personally think Kovalev should call it a day. Like if you look at his last three performances, where they haven't been, it's, the it's fallen off, yeah. yeah. But I mean, obviously you're, you're, you're entitled to, you're entitled to. You've had a long career, you've done a lot in his career. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see. But um, but yeah, brutal knockout, and um, you know, as I said, fair play. Canelo's done his done what he said he would. For me, if I want to see his next fights for Canelo, I would love him to see to fight Smith. Smith, yeah, I'd love to see him fight Smith. Fight Smith, yeah. Smith or Billy Joe Saunders. For me, if he goes and does those two then that's it. I, he's got no more questions to answer for me. Uh, and these, those, and, and Smith is in his peak. So there's no, you know, there's no questions to be asked. He's supposed to be he's inactive though. A bit, uh, yeah, I don't know yeah. what's happened after the, the George Groves. He was on such a high then. Yeah. You should just then just ex- literally accelerate. So, and there's a lot of uh, American fans who watch our channel and stuff. They, they're they saying, listen, you guys just gas up all the all the UK fighters way too much. They just, they, 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 they laugh at the likes of Smith and, and Billy J. Saunders. And to some extent, I can understand I can their argument. Why, yeah, yeah I can they're understand not, they're their not argument. active enough. They're not active exactly. enough, and 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 that's it's fair enough. But I, I guess the, the 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 true litmus test is going to be when they take the fights, and and, and we'll see. We could we, we could be wrong, you know. But from what I've seen, I think Smith's he to me looks the real deal. Mm. Um, so we we'll, we we'll, we shall see. But um, I can see why the other guys, you know, the, the American fans would, would be like, you know, how can you give these guys such big props when they're not fighting as regularly as they probably should do? Mm. Especially if someone who's a champion and is at the top, is, he should be at the top of his game at the minute. So. No. And, and last thing I want to mention before we go is how the boxing fans and all of us had to wait for the UFC fight to finish before we watched our main event. They had Canelo waiting there for about 50 minutes in the changing rooms just because the zone wanted to show the uh, Diaz fight. Now, I was pissed. I don't know how, about anybody else. But I don't give a goddamn shit about UFC. If I'm watching the main event, Canelo's the main attraction. So I don't understand why he's waiting 50 minutes in the changing room. I don't understand why we as fans are waiting 50 minutes watching highlights of some old school fights just so the UFC fight can finish and then we can watch ours. Now, I don't know how you feel about that, but I was vexed. I just think it's, listen, it's, that's all it is. You don't mind. Listen, it's not something I don't mind. Obviously, if it was, for me, boxing should be first and then UFC should come after, for me. That's the that's the main thing. But there's I know that there's fans out there that will ha- make nights of it of watching. They want to watch the, the the UFC and the boxing. Mm. So I'm not necessarily the big. I'm not a UFC fan. I don't I don't really buzz off it. To be brutally honest with you, boxing's my thing. I always has been and it always will be. But I, you know it's a money making scheme. And, and so unfortunately that's kind of you know yeah the planning should be better. But as long as everything's being viewed, the money's being made for them. So. That's, that's a fair point. And I think if you look at it in the US, for them it's not too it's not. It doesn't matter really, right? What 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 you're talking like 10 p.m., 11 p.m. I don't yeah, know what it's it is. good. Here, it's just for us, yeah, yeah. Here, 
4 a.m. We were waiting, ready for this fight, and we had to wait till 5 a.m. in the morning. To and we've been up all night. So for me, that's frustration. That's, that's a frustration. frustration. So yeah. just want to. I want to see how people feel about. It. So the two questions I want to ask the fans is: Is Canelo now pound for pound for you, or is there still questions around that? And how, and how did you feel about waiting around for the zone to sort their shit out when the UFC come first? So and for me, thing. what next? What next? And for Canelo. Yeah, and, and I've said which ones I want to see next as well. So don't forget to like, uh, to share, like, and subscribe, comment, and all that. So uh, until the next one, peace. peace.